He's been a household name, even away from the campus that he has led for six years. University of Cincinnati President Santa Ono announced today that he is leaving Cincinnati to lead the University of British Columbia. Nine on your side, Scott Wegener tells us the move was a shock to nearly everyone. Thank you again for making it possible for this Vancouver boy to return home. The news that University of Cincinnati President Santa Ono was leaving the Bearcats for the University of British Columbia came as a bombshell. And I was actually very shocked. It's a major disappointment. I'm very surprised. Even the UC Board of Trustees were caught off guard learning about Ono's coming exit just last week. It was a surprise. In a letter to the UC community, Ono says it was the most difficult decision he's ever made. But in the end, he says returning to his hometown to lead its university is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If that's home for him and he has roots there, I mean, he has every right to go. Fourth-year student Todd Green says Ono had a great way with students. Very down-to-earth and relatable. He says hi to everybody who walks into campus. That doesn't seem to be an exaggeration. He comes to my rugby games. Just come up to random students walking by, ask them how the day's going. Sophomore and... Nick Gowding even ran into him at the Zoo. He took a bunch of pictures with all like me and my friends and stuff. It was just really cool. Of course, it wasn't all fun. The shooting death of Samuel DeBose by UC police officer Ray Tinzing happened on Ono's watch. And anything that we find that we can do better, we will do better. Provost Beverly Davenport will step in as acting president until a nationwide search finds Ono's successor. That is hard to follow someone who is that revered. Scott Wagoner, nine on your side, University of Cincinnati.